name is Ziad Fayyad. I'm part of the Einstein Analytics team. And uh, today I'm going to walk you through um, just the sales app. Um, and uh, it's going to be just a demo, but also trying to get people to install it and look at it, use it, even if it doesn't apply to their cloud or objects or the business domain slash requirements. And the reason for that is uh, it is available. If you have the platform license, you will have access to install the sales app or services app or the other apps, actually, the templates we have. But I'm just going to pick the sales app for, 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 a, for an example. And uh, I always like to start to say, like, if, if I had a sales uh, uh, requirement, sales cloud, I'm dealing with uh, those kind of things. This is, for example, a slide that uh, summarizes some of the KPIs that the sales app already answers. And actually, this has not been updated for a while. So, for example, if anybody comes to me and says, I need a dashboard that show, shows me sales activities or account white space analysis or team leadership and co coaching, win-loss analysis, all of these metrics, I would directly go to my, uh, my sales app that I have already installed on my dev org uh, or sandbox, uh, for example. Uh, and um, and the way you do it, just to show you again, is you create an app. All of these apps are available, the templates, and this is the sales app. First time you are installing it, you, especially if it's in sandbox, just install it as a basic. Don't worry about the configuration uh, unless you have tried it a couple of times and you kind of know um, you know what what are the answers to the wizard that you want to do and again when I say configuration it's like if you use if you don't use amount use maybe some amount double underscore C or maybe another better example um, you you segment uh, your accounts by different vertical rather than uh, let's say industry so again basic is what you want which will install it Custom is more the configure, um, you know, you change your answers. Again, there, there's a lot of videos out there to show you how to install it for a personalized or customized or configured version. But again, I, I'm, I'm back into, I just want to install it. And this is what I did right here. And what I get uh, from the app out of the box is, you know, a lot of dashboards, a lot of data sets, and even the data flow, uh, which I'll show you at the end. And, and why this is important. First, it's going to give you ideas for best design practices, okay? Uh, at least something to start with if you're not a, um, your background is not dashboard designing. So if I go, for example, I always bring, um, let me see this one. Yeah, I always talk about this as the first time I show it to folks in the campfires, for example. It's like, does this look like a dashboard or a web page? Um, I mean, it is a dashboard, but it is so smartly designed that it feels... You know, it, it, it feels very easy to navigate. It get it has the important KPIs on top with the thresholds. And then it has all the links I need to go uh, categorized correctly uh, under, you know, whatever category it is. So this is a very nice way to maybe have your home, uh, you know, your home analytics uh, dashboard or even the one that's embedded on the analytics tab and, and on the regular tabs on the Salesforce, uh, you know, when I say Salesforce, it's what I mean is probably the home screen right here, okay? And um, so that's that's one option. And the other one is you can look at the dashboards themselves for design ideas. So you could see some of the charts, some of the icons, how they're embedded, some of the filtering, some of the micro charts, and uh, all these linked dashboards together. So it definitely gives you that starting point to start with something that's available that you can take a look at it, whether it's taking a look at it from simply editing it and looking at stuff, or when you start kind of delving into the advanced stuff, you could see some of the stuff that's been done on behind the scene. Um, I'm not gonna mention a lot of bindings and JSON, but it is there if you really want to look at some of the stuff, especially the famous waterfall chart uh, that's based on the uh, history objects. So that's that's one thing from the from the uh, front end from the design. Another one is also gives you an idea of the data sets. So a lot of people um, when they get Einstein Analytics, they struggle how many data sets I should have, or how do I know if I have too many or too too few. And um, this gives me immediately <clears throat> an idea 
that if I'm working with sales, for example, I, I have an opportunities, I have an opportunity product, which is lower uh, grain, I have an accounts at a high level, I have products itself, I have cases itself. So it kind of give me an idea how to design and go about my data sets. And even I can start from here, I can look at the data flow and, and you know, reverse engineer how, for example, activities, which is something a lot of uh, users ask for, out of requirements. So again, get an idea that you need multiple data sets, but not too many and not too little. And then if you go all the way to the data manager, which if, you know, if you're the uh, data admin or uh, let's say data flow admin, you will go and take a look at the data flows and this is the particular app's data flow. And you can take a look at all the, um, you know, intermediate to advanced things happening in the nodes. So for example, I mentioned activities, right? So activities, um, as you start, uh, you know, tracking it. So if I track register activity, which is right here, it's coming from this object, from this object, from this object, all the way to um, events. So extracting events and tasks. So essentially activity is just the append of these two uh, with the little compute expressions and filters along the way. So this gives me an idea where to start from and how to uh, use it. Or again, reverse engineer it, engineer it in my data flow. Another typical one is the user role, how you use the flatten. So you can extract user role uh, right here and flatten it to get that security predicates, uh, you know, working for the data sets. So again, it's something I can look at versus a dry documentation with no, no real examples. Definitely helpful. Like I said, definitely helpful on the data flow side, helpful on understanding maybe the number or how am I going to design the data sets and definitely helpful on design ideas, how to build something that's visually attractive and uh, that is that works in, in a, in a certain workflow uh, or, or flow that leads me from one dashboard to another and so forth and so forth. Um, this is as of summer 18. Uh, keep an eye, these apps that do get updated and released with, the, with every release. So um, always expect new features to be presented there. And I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.